At 48, Wayne Powell never thought about facing colon cancer, but then a test found a tumor the size of a tennis ball. The next step, of course, was to go see a surgeon. Surgical oncologist Dr. Richard Hofer had Wayne get a PET scan before surgery. It's an imaging test that looks at metabolic activity within the body. The PET scan helps us determine whether or not there's been spread to places like lymph nodes or the lung or liver, and knowing that is very helpful in developing a treatment, comprehensive treatment plan for those patients. The test suggested Wayne's cancer had spread to his liver, but when he woke up from the surgery, his wife had good news. Your liver is okay, the lymph nodes are okay, the cancer had not penetrated through the bowel wall, you're going to be fine. And I was, you know, tell me again, tell me again. Even if his cancer had spread, innovative treatments are offering new hope. Dr. Hofer is using a heated chemotherapy for advanced abdominal cancers called the Viacirc method. Here's how it works. After the surgeon removes as much of the cancer as possible, the lining of the patient's abdomen is bathed with a hot chemotherapy solution for two hours. It's a higher dose of chemotherapy than a patient could tolerate intravenously, and it's saving lives. A number of institutions have shown that for patients with colon cancer who had the disease just confined to the peritoneal cavity, um, that if the surgery is successful in removing all the gross disease and then you do the heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, that about 30% of those patients will survive five years or longer. Um, but that same group of patients, if they're treated with conventional treatments, um, none of those patients will live longer than a year. So that this is a big advance. Removing a large part of his colon was all Wayne needed. Now his life is the way it used to be. You can't ask for any better. That's as good as it gets. Beyond surgery, research is producing better drugs and improving chemotherapy treatments. The cancer chemotherapy that we have been using has been chemotherapy that kills rapidly dividing cells, for lack of a better term. Well, besides cancer cells in the body, there are other rapidly dividing cells. There are hair follicles, that's why people lose their hair sometimes. There are cells in the bone marrow, that's why the blood counts will drop down and people will become anemic and their white blood counts go down and they're a little more prone to infection. And there are cells of the gut, and that's why sometimes people will get nausea or have problems with um, their GI tract. New targeted therapy drugs work differently and are now available for lymphoma, breast, colon, and lung cancer. They seek out and attack the cancer cells, have fewer side effects, and are generally used along with standard chemotherapy. What we would really like to have is a treatment that by itself has very little side effect, um, can be taken in a pill form, and will molecularly attack the cancer cell like some of these targeted therapies do and reverse the problem or stabilize the problem. By combining standard chemotherapy and targeted cancer therapy treatments, people with cancer may live longer. We still want to cure cancer. However, we don't cure diabetes. We don't cure hypertension. We don't cure rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. But people are treated with those diseases and live sometimes reasonably normal lives for years. So if you can take a malignancy, best thing obviously is to cure it. If you can't, the next best thing is to make it a chronic disease. Sentara and Virginia Oncology Associates together have created community-based comprehensive cancer centers, making it easier than ever for patients to receive the full spectrum of cancer care close to home. It's very convenient for them to come in here, see their radiation doctor walk down the hall, see their medical oncology doctor walk down the hall, get their chemotherapy. Uh, after their chemotherapy is finished, they walk back up the hall, talk to the radiation doctor again, as opposed to three or four years ago when um, that had to be done via uh, getting in a car and driving one place and driving back to another. New treatments at community locations. That's Sentara's commitment to quality cancer care in Hampton Roads. This is Dale Gauding reporting.